how you guys doing today? 2009 Honda CRV. This is a add key situation. Has been the multiple locksmiths. Nobody was able to to program the key. Able to cut, turns the switch fine. Keys blinking. Been to a couple places. Been to a couple places. Uh, reputable places that should know what they're doing. I'm not gonna say any names. But you go in, I got this all apart because this is a tip I want to give you guys. You go in, you try and program, ignition turns on normally, and this will happen. This will happen with any scanner you have. It doesn't matter if you got the Smart Pro or Z Woo, it doesn't matter. I have the majority of them. This is just this little one is in my go bag. It's always with me. Uh, even if I'm not in my van. In my, in my car is with me all right add key customer say he went to locksmith uh they cut him two keys none of them programmed they blamed the keys they said it was the keys fault keys no good gotta get the key from the dealer configuring system this is what happens uh and let's say you get to the job the car had an alarm the horn was blaring all crazy so the customer removed the fuses just to shut the alarm up fuses has nothing to do with it i'm just giving you an example where you wouldn't know if the car had an alarm or not you just went to make a key and you get communication errors or it'll identify it and and then it'll just you know just won't go won't won't give you any options it'll Identify sometimes and sometimes it'll just say no communication When people fit these remote start alarms They run a bypass to the immobilizer module to this guy right here And you see right here it said tester cannot communicate with vehicle So if this would have been all keys lost You wouldn't have been able to make the key and you would have been scratching your head as to why And you would have told the customer you would have told the customer that it's the uh the keys fault okay let's take this off turn this off i'm just gonna disconnect here and this one had you know pretty nice system it had the harness already made up give me one second so i could disconnect this i'm gonna disconnect it from here and i'm gonna plug it back in here essentially removing the bypass and I'm going to remove the bypass temporarily because I'm going to put it back because this customer does have a remote start and I'm pretty sure he wants it to work. So, I'm going to take it off, disconnect it from here, I'm sorry if you cannot see this, disconnect it from here, I'm going to loop this around. I'm gonna loop this around and I'm gonna connect it back. It's connected back and the bypass is removed. This is the remote start bypass. This is where the remote start will communicate with the mobilizer module giving it the authorization to start. Basically it emulates one of the keys. Okay, so this is on now. I'm gonna turn the switch on. Okay. I still, I'm still gonna have the blinking light, okay? But since I'm gonna do all add key, I'm gonna put the original key back in, the one that's already programmed. You see the immobilizer light proved out. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back here, into the scanner. I'm gonna auto, I know it's immobilizer four, but Hey, if I'm here making a video, I'm just going to hit auto, make it a little bit easier for you guys. And remember earlier, we had no communication. And like I said, sometimes it'll identify the immobilizer and it just will not go through. <clears throat> so now, bypass is removed and scanner is doing its thing. And we will wait a second for it to, you know, 
identify the system and I don't want to pause I don't want I want you guys to see this in real time <clears throat> I don't want you guys to think I edited anything well either way I'm not editing I don't have time to edit videos I'm just sharing tips and knowledge and trying to help people out if I was to make videos of every job I wouldn't have it's crazy I, it's a lot of work multiple multiple cars every day establishing vehicle communication you see we identified it remember earlier we had no communication now here I want to do add key you don't want to do all keys lost when a customer has a remote start fitted because you will erase you will erase the uh, code and then they will have to go back to the alarm place and blame it on you that you messed up their their uh, their remote start even though you came here and you fixed one problem then they're gonna blame you for another problem so just takes a couple seconds longer just do add key in the case that it was all keys lost you cannot do anything about the remote start because you know that's not on you You're not an alarm installer turn on I just switched it on I'm gonna turn it off I'm gonna put the new key that is not programmed on turn off turn on turn off on and this car already has a uh, five keys so this is gonna be the six key program to it all right you see the mobilizer turned off programming successful yes the light did go out turn the ignition off on back on again <clears throat> now it has six keys in the system so the programming was successful and we're done with the scanner okay power off disconnect Turn the switch off. Put their little if if you have to cut wires to splice them together, just do it. But just remember how to splice them back together. But you always have to remove the bypass or the bypass module that they use to uh, for the install of the. Give me one second. Whatever bypass they used, well, whatever bypass module they used for the alarm. All right, so now, where did I put the key? Okay. So that fast, I misplaced the key. Oh no, I put it on top of the roof. And I think I have another one in my pocket. In one of my pockets. But here goes the new key that we just programmed. Turned on. And now I'm gonna test out that his remote start function still works. So I'm gonna close the door. I'm gonna lock it. Wait a second or two. I don't know how to activate it. I think it will suppress it. Right there. See the light came on. And the, the remote start system is intact. If you do all keys lost, it would it would turn on and everything. 
So it'll shut off right away in about a second or two. And then it'll do it again and then it'll just keep cranking and eventually probably will kill the battery. With that guys, this is how you recover from not being able to communicate because of remote starts fitted. And this applies to all vehicles, not just Honda, all vehicles that have remote, that have aftermarket remote starts fitted. All right guys, thanks. Thanks for watching.